First on CNN, uh, big questions tonight for President Trump's uh, pick to run the FAA about alleged retaliation against a whistleblower during his time as a Delta Airlines executive. Let's go to our senior investigative correspondent, Drew Griffin, who's uh, working the story for us. Drew, I understand Steve Dixon failed to disclose this case to senators. What are you learning? Wolf, the Republican chairman of the Senate Commerce and Transportation Committee, Roger Wicker, says this new information merits further examination. He wants answers from both the White House and the Department of Transportation. His resume makes him an ideal candidate to run the FAA, a former fighter pilot, nearly 30 years at Delta, and his recent confirmation hearing senators had little more than high praise for Captain Steve Dixon. It's an honor to appear before you today as the president. Dixon nominee, answered questions none difficult and committed himself to expanding I will, aviation I'm safety. Confirmed. I will never abdicate my responsibility and my uh, devotion to safety. But that is exactly what Captain Steve Dixon is accused of in a legal case that he did not report in his disclosure forms to the U.S. Senate. The case, Carlene Pettit versus Delta, the allegation denied by the airline that a female Delta pilot was retaliated against, accused of being mentally unstable after reporting alleged safety violations to Delta's senior vice president of flight operations, Captain Dixon. You think there is a clear link be her, between her reporting a safety issue and being declared by Delta mentally incompetent? There is no doubt in my mind that and there is a link. In 2016, Carling Pettit was concerned about safety at Delta. She called for a meeting and delivered a more than 40-page report to Dixon and his second-in-command. She felt a pilot qualification test wasn't being taken seriously, that pilots were afraid to admit they were fatigued, and that a pilot's travel time to assignment was not being properly added to calculate an hourly limit for flying. And she wanted these safety issues addressed before some calamity occurred. Pettit's attorney, Lee Seaham, said, instead, during another meeting with a supervisor, Pettit became frustrated and her eyes filled with tears. What happened next was shocking. All she knew was seven weeks after I reported these very serious safety issues, uh, without explanation, I'm being sent to a psychiatrist. That psychiatrist declared Pettit bipolar. She was grounded. And in his deposition taken just last year, Steve Dixon said he had ultimate authority over that decision and agreed with his staff's recommendation to refer Pettit for a mental evaluation. It was a sound course of action. In the end, that diagnosis was completely wrong. Ultimately, two teams of psychiatrists clear Ms. Pettit and said she's fine. She's perfectly fine. She should be back in the cockpit, which is where she is today. A year and a half after being grounded, Pettit is back flying a 777 for Delta, and she's suing the company for damages. This was all a terrible mistake, but it was a terrible mistake that went on for a year and a half because of the lack of diligence that Captain Dixon accepted. Delta did order a safety audit after hearing Pettit's concerns, and the FAA validated her complaint, dealing with pilot scheduling, which Delta says it had already addressed. But this is all news to the Senate Transportation Committee, who knew none of this was going on when Dixon testified. On his Senate questionnaire for nomination, Dixon didn't mention the case, but did write that Delta was involved in various judicial, administrative, or regulatory proceedings relating to its business, although I was not a named party in any such actions. Now CNN has learned committee staffers are asking for more information, more records. One Democratic committee staffer saying the omission is troubling. Wolf, we understand Dixon has been cooperative with the committee since this new information has come to light. It's not clear yet if any of this will affect his Senate confirmation. We Wolf. shall see. Uh, great reporting, uh, Drew. Thanks very much.